got T.Y. Hilton, then they got Paris Campbell, Eric Ebron. That's a fast break type offense. And the the Cardinals. I like what the Cardinals did getting um, Andy Isabella, Hakeem Butler. Hakeem Butler was still in the fourth round. Zach Allen's a strong DN who's going to help him out when they move to the 3 4. He's perfect for a transitional piece for that defensive line. He could be a swing player because he could play five technique or nose. And then Deontay Thompson in the fifth round? That's Free another safety. still. People were talking about him in the second and third round. He's supposed to be a first out of round Alabama. Pick. He's supposed to be a first round pick before all the injuries and the bad tape happened. And didn't they get did they get Mac Wilson too? Uh I think the Buccaneers got Mac. I think the Buccaneers no the Buccaneers didn't get Mac Wilson. Cleveland, I think, got Mac Wilson. Oh yeah, yeah. That's Cleveland right. did pretty good too. Yeah, just getting greedy Williams at the top of the second. That that's theft. The Vikings got their tight end, Irv Smith Jr. Yeah, I can't believe Greedy Williams really fell out low to all the way to the the second round. Somebody, uh, everyone uh, talking about how he can't tackle. They say that literally about every single LSU corner DB. Yeah, and but most of them can tackle. End up being pro bowlers or all pros, except so, Morris Claiborne. Even, no, I think he was a pro bowler that one year in Philly when Morris, they won the Super Bowl. He might have been Morris like an Claiborne, alternate. Morris Claiborne never played for the Eagles. Oh, I thought he did. He got drafted by the Cowboys. Yeah, and then didn't he play for the Eagles? I mean, he after went that? to the Jets, I think. You might be right. I don't know. One of those teams with ugly green uniforms. So the Jets. It's always the Jets. The Jets have that ugly. What uniform. about what about losers? Who are some losers? Gonna say the Raiders. I don't think the Raiders lost only because their draft got better as it went on, and they also got um, I could, a couple they, of good unsigned free agents. I don't think anyone's taking Claire and Farrell, Farrell in the top ten. I heard some what is bum his 40 ass time? take from what's his forty time, bro? Nobody knows exactly. I heard some bum ass take. I think he's better than Bosa though, so I'll give you that. I heard some bum ass take, basically saying. That if Mike Mayock, the current Raiders GM, was still at NFL Network, Farrell would have been, been talked about more as a top five pick. That because he wasn't there to hype him up. But he still went top five. That's stupid. Exactly. But what what they're saying is it would have been talked about more in the media the beforehand. The entire defensive line went in the first round. Except Austin Bryant. But yeah, that's what they're saying. And Farrell, Wilkins, my whole and Lawrence. My whole thing round. with Farrell is like, yeah, he's a good player, but he's not a top five upside kind of player. He's not an elite talent, and, and that was my issue. And when you factor in that Sweat was he was talent. on a great defensive line, exactly. It's like how how much of that is going to transfer over to a team on the Raiders where he's essentially the best edge rusher now. On a team full of above average players, if not average, C plus players, something like that. C minus to C. I'm not even gonna say C. I'm gonna say some C minus players. It's the C minus defensive line. And then you got Jonathan Abram, which is pretty much redundant between him and. But he's. A, I feel like he'll be a main. He'll clean up some things in that secondary. Trayvon Mullen was a great pick in the second round. It's a solid pick. Like I, I'm not mad at that at all. I, I'm not so, mad. I'm not. I mad saw him get that pick against Alabama, and I was like, "Oh yeah, he he's nice." And I'm not mad at um, the corner out of Houston in the fourth round. I don't like Houston corners, so I don't think that was a good pick. But in the fourth I, round, I think Butler would have been perfect. Pick. I think Hakeem Butler would have been a better pick. He wasn't available. They passed on. They didn't pass on him. And they dra- they drafted Hunter Winfro. Max Crosby's a guy that everyone's <sighs> applying them for taking. Yeah, but I don't see the point of trading up to get Hunter Winfro. And everyone's been talking about Foster Moreau as another still. That was yeah, because he's LSU tight end, born number eighteen, which is a legendary number there. And he already did a good blocking tight end, four six speed, can develop as a pass. Hunter catcher. Renfro. I, I think that was a bad pick. There, but. Kelvin Harmon out of North Carolina State was still on the board. He fell all the way to the sixth round. That dude Keyshawn was Keyshawn Johnson from Fresno State who went to the Cardinals. Um, that was Keelan. I'm thinking of Keelan Doss. Never mind. Which they signed as a 
undrafted free agent. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I, I think the Raiders are kind of a wash for me. I think Mina Kimes, as somebody else said it, you know, you, you, you can see a lot about a team through their draft strategy. And for the Raiders, what you do see is, like, last year they took a lot of flyers on players. And this year they took need. This year they took need and guys who will change their culture. He took four guys who were in the national championship game, and the rest of their guys were all pretty much, you know, long-term starters. So their experience, they're going to bring their winning ways, hopefully, those four national champ- championship players. Abrams is going to bring some toughness to the secondary for sure. So, But I still think that it was a really bad idea to take Cloud and Farrell at four when Montez Sweat was right there. Devin White what? was honestly Devin White should have been the pick. One of my biggest losers in this draft because everybody else in the AFC West got better. One of my biggest losers in this draft is going to be the San Francisco Forty ers You know they took Bosa, Shout which out I to guess Jalen Hurd. A lot of people are talking about him being the top two player, which is cool. I understand that, mm. but that wasn't really a need, right? It really then, wasn't. And then everyone loves the the Debo Samuel pick, but it's I'm not a great exactly pick for that offense. Are it's perfect. Do, do slot receivers who run four sixes succeed in he the league? He ran a four four actually. Oh my bad. Don't disrespect Debo Samuel. Don't yeah. disrespect anybody named Debo. I slap you for him. And they already reached on Dante Pettis last year. Nah, Dante Pettis is gonna be all right for what they need. And also, you got to look at the fact and that... And they took a punter in the fourth round. They so. needed a Utah punter. Which All I didn't American. even get to the fact that they didn't address their trash-ass corners until really the sixth round. I don't know. Yeah. And they didn't even address any of their trash-ass offensive line, period. <laughs> yeah, I can't help you there. Uh, but they got Jalen Hurd out of Baylor. Shout-out to Jalen Hurd. When he's, when he's good, I just want y'all to know that. I that was him. probably their best pick. Yeah, and I didn't think he was going to go that high. I was shocked. I thought he was going to go fifth or sixth round. And then they took another guy. After, they took, I think, three receivers, two or three receivers. And then, obviously, the other one everyone's been railing on all week, the New York football giants taking a quarterback many people had in the second round, number six overall. Mr. Noodle Arm himself, Daniel Jones. But I don't he know, comes man. comes from an athletic family. I don't know, man. We were like Kyler Murray. We were questioning the Baker Mayfield move, and he ended up being the best rookie quarterback. But I don't trust Gettleman. So I don't trust Gettleman. Yeah, I don't either. Like Dwayne Haskins is a better player than Daniel Jones, just because David Cutcliffe was offensive coordinator, and now you're sold because Cutcliffe is attached to Peyton Manning. Like, fam, you can't ride that train forever. And then, honestly, I mean. Haskins is going to kill the Giants secondary. All they got is Janoris Jenkins back there. I don't really even like what the the um, Rams did in the draft. They yeah. they In the third round, they kept trading back. In the second and third round, they kept trading back. They needed picks, though. And look and what they did in free agency. I like Taylor Rapp, but I don't know if I necessarily like him on that team. Bro, Taylor Rapper in a four seven. I don't want a safety that runs a four seven. In the second round. I don't care I don't care that he plays faster. No. You ran a four seven seven, bro. A four seven nine. No. No, De- thank you. There are better safeties available. Daryl Henderson. I think he could perfect be a solid pick. a solid player, but that was a perfect pick because they don't have any home run hitters. Exactly. The Cowboys get stole Tony Pollard as far as I'm concerned. And then Bobby Evans, he's a guard tackle. They need that. He was a little bit nasty with Oklahoma, but they need that though. It, it worse it's a depth pick. He might play. My guard. whole thing with the Rams taking the offensive line, and I actually did predict that they would take Bobby Evans, but I think I had him them picking him in the fourth or fifth round. It is where does he play? Like where do the Ram- like the Rams need help at at center guard? They didn't get any of the top guys. They should have got, and they need help at center. Brad Bar- Bradbury out of North Carolina State to the Vikings was perfect. Oh, another team I think won the Saints. 
Yeah, they got, they got McCoy. They got, and they got Chauncey Gardner Johnson, who many people had in the first like the in the third round. round or something like that. Yeah, or the fourth round. I'm he sorry, went low. Yeah, that's exactly what they needed because Eli Apple can be alive. Any other losers you can think of? Uh, the Lions. Yeah, the Lions. I'm are not trash. impressed with their draft. Yeah, I'm trash. Okay, let's look at who their highest paid pass rusher, Trey Flowers. Who they take in the first round? TJ Hawkinson. Okay. That was really it. And who they take in the second round? Who's that? I'm sorry. Are you I thought you had it queued up, that's what I was asking. I do. What are you asking me for? The oh, Lions, the Lions, the sorry. Lions draft. The oh yeah, yeah. They reached they reached on that Hawaii linebacker. There you go. That was, the I was one like, mistake slow, number one. Who's slow and can't cover. You know, he had decent speed, but he just isn't really – and he played at Hawaii. Hawaii's defense has been terrible, but whatever. So, who else did they draft? Isaac Nwada, the Georgia Will Tigers. Harris. That's a good pick, um, but for a lot of line safeties, they get good, and then they just end up getting hurt or they suck. <laughs> they fall off. Uh, he could be Lewis Delmas, or he could be something better. We'll never know, but go ahead. Who else? <clears throat> I was going to say I don't really like what the Bengals did. I like what the Bengals did. They have too many running backs, though. They got Rodney Anderson, and they took somebody else. I just don't Tra- like Tra- Tra- I don't like what the, the Bengals did because they could have addressed the Andy Dal- Dalton situation. How did Tyree Jackson They didn't do it until till the, the later rounds. I don't like what the Ravens did. And they and, took a bl- another blocking tight end in the second round. Like, they haven't invested enough capital that position. Took a linebacker, Jermaine Pratt. That was a perfect pick for them. What I'm saying, though, is they could have had a much better draft. When you look at where they fell on the board and some of the guys they passed on, it's kind of like, uh. Same thing with the Ravens. Trace McSorley was a bad pick. I don't really like what they did either. I mean... Outside of getting Hollywood Brown, I like that pick, but you could even argue that that's too high for a sub six foot receiver coming off a injury, regardless of how fast he is. So, yeah, I mean, I see what the Ravens are trying to do. They're trying to get it like. I mean, Miles Boykin was a good pick. They're trying to get like a deep threat kind of offense, like spread people out. But then the core of that team is the offensive line. All right. So what about people? Who are some winners, just people wise? You wanted to shout out because I know you wanted to. Kyler Murray, biggest winner, first person ever drafted in two professional drafts, MLB, <laughs> and the NFL, and you get no one overall in the NFL and a quarterback. There's no greater leverage. And they got all those receivers. I mean, they really off the line is trash. But they put receivers and everything around him, people who could eventually replace L.A. Fitzgerald collectively. So, kudos to Kyler Murray. He won. I would say the Packers won. They traded back up, got the safety they wanted, Savage out of Maryland. They took Rashawn Gary. They can still disrespectful that they gave him number 52. But we'll talk about that later. <laughs> That's really disrespectful, by the way. That, like, they got Sternberger out of Texas A&M, who's All-American. They they filled a lot of holes that they needed. So, shout out. The Packers usually always draft well. Yeah. I mean, I think, honestly, Josh Rosen is going to be a winner after all this. Because... If you live here in L.A. like we do, you you know he was labeled the chosen one. He's always seven, been the chosen one. Seven offensive coordinators in the past five years. And now he's pretty much set up in a situation to where probably in the first time in since he was probably like a preteen, he doesn't have absurd expectations on him. So now he gets to just play, and guess what? Florida, no state taxes. Oh, well, Arizona, I don't think they don't have a lot of taxes either. But Arizona is paying most of his salary. 
what I was going to say, though, on that same note is, bruh, trade me from Glendale to Miami every single day of